So we'll give a short introduction on the latest research we have been doing uh, jointly with CBRE. Um, if we start with the first slides, I think one of the key reasons why we started this project was the current investment market. And as you can see from this slide, uh, total investment volumes today are already reaching uh, levels we have not seen uh, since, uh, since 2006. And that is still when still the, um, the final quarter uh, still has to come. So we will reach new levels of investment volumes for retail. And we actually think that the interest for retail will continue as the low environment uh, of interest rates will continue to be there, given also that uh, QE might be um, coming in uh, end of this year or early next year. So the key investment volumes are rocket high. And if you look on the next slide, where investors are now investing, or where the preferences are, you can see the breakdown by countries. By far, in total volumes, UK and Germany uh, still hit the market. But it is quite interesting to see that in, especially last year, but also in the last quarters of uh, the 2014, we have seen strong increases um, in Iberia, in the Nordics, but now also recently, investment volumes in the Be Benelux are really increasing. So we do see that strong appetite from investors. If you move to the next slide. Uh, we still think that investors will continue to look for retail investments. Uh, we also see that, although it was not in the graph, that cross-border investments, so mainly investors from Asia and North America, were really uh, very interested to invest here. But to help them to understand Europe, they usually tend to focus on London and Paris. But we do see uh, that the products available in these key markets are decreasing. So we have to come up with newer products, newer cities, and we want to guide those investors that are not familiar with all the cities and opportunities we have in Europe, to guide them and help to understand them. So therefore, we created this tool to find uh, new retail locations and destinations in Europe. Because we strongly believe there are many opportunities still left. So what we have created is this tool. And you can see here what we incorporated in this tool. It's a whole Excel file. Uh, we combined all the data from investors, but also from CBRE. We're looking at demographics on what it is today, what it will be in the future. We're looking at affluence. Um, we're looking at the offer, not only at the current offer, but also at the pipeline. And we also judge cities whether we believe, based on the catchment and the spending capacity in that catchment, whether a market is uh, saturated or oversaturated or not. So we judge all those cities on that. But as an investor, you might have different needs uh, when you look at cities. So you might think that liquidity is very important for you. With this tool, we can set weights to each of the characteristics, and you can add a filter. So some cities might come up very attractive, but if their liquidity is low or high, you might come up with different cities. So with this tool, we can set the requirements based on the investor's interest. And I think here I will show you some of the outcomes. So if you look purely at, for example, demographic or the city's offer, uh, you will see already that there are different cities. But if you then add liquidity as highly important uh, for you as an investor, you do see that other cities turn up as well. So we want to guide investors with these new insights and lure them what are the retail uh, opportunities in those cities as well.